dukomeze dusenge mana nziza mana icyubahiro ndagushimye mana uri mwiza cyane mana uri mwiza mu ijambo uri mwiza mu ndirimbo uri mwiza tuzamura imitima tukuramya mwami uri mwiza uri mwiza nti tukurebesha amaso ariko aho tuye mu mitima yacu uri mwiza cyane mana twazanywe no kumva wowe ntabwo twaje kureba abantu twaje kumva ijambo ry'ubugingo twaje kurya ibyo kurya by'ubugingo twaje gushaka imbuto itabora ya indi wimbika mu buzima bwacu ntibore ikazera nyinshi cyane ziguhesha icyubahiro mwami nicyo tugushakaho mana ndagushima ko uri nyiri bihe uri umukuru w'ibihe niko twariho tukuririmba mana urahejuru ubahejuru ya byose ibyo mwene data ariho yibaza ibyo afite ibyo anyura mu bahejuru ya byose kandi uracyavuga ndagushimiye mwana mana nziza rero umwanya nkuyu ndaguhaye wo udahinduka ngwi wawe nta changement nta ombre de variation ibayo nta gacu ko gucuyuka ntako mwami uri wa wundurera mwami ihishurira umuntu wicaye rero mwami nyemerera mbigusabe ihishurira umuntu wicaye hano mubwire icyo uri cyo mubwire uwariwe na ubwe mubwire uwariwe mana tujya tugucika tukanyerera tukagucika ntudufatishe mwami ntudufatishe ariko mwami uyu munsi ndasengera abadukurikiye nabari hano ngo udufate udufate mwami hagira ufata kukinyita cyawavuga ati ntunsiga mwami tushe yawe irakenewe mwami kangura imitima kwa kundi wo ubizi ibyo ntabyo nshoboye yewe ariko ufite ubuhanga bwo kuno kangura umutima ukawubwira ngo kanguka ndaje ngo kanguka naje kanguka naje icyo bahiro ni kuzo ni wetu bishubije mu izina rya Yesu umvugira ngo amen say amen mumo mpera mashi give a hand clap to him yesa shimwe praise jesus cyumwe rukiza kuri twese a nice sunday to all of us imana itanga ibihe byiza mana we god gives good times indeed hatekereza ngo ariko harya ubu ndahaguruka pe and i wonder should i really stand up sigibe bintu and put these things aside yes ashim praise jesus abari rimbye nzabahemba tu and the worship team i'm going to give you a reward nzibyo nibwira nzabagirira i know the plans are half for you mukomeze muri cyo guza just con continue on that pace namwe torero ndabifuriza kumva ibyo numva mukanarenza and the church i desire that you hear what i'm hearing and even beyond yeah imana nziza god is good Eh jambo ry'Imana Ecclesiaste cyangwa umubwiriza ikenda ndahira kuri rimwe ngeze ku 10. We're going to read in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 starting from verse 1 to 10. Yeah. Kadusome mu izina rya Yesu. Let's read in the name of Jesus. Uvuga umubwiriza mwese mukuriye kumumenya ni Salomo. Uh, you should know that book of Ecclesiastes that was written by Solomon. No mwami Solomon. It is the king Solomon. No muhungu wa Dawidi. The son of David. Ni wewe guriwe intebe ya se. And he's the one who was given the throne of his father. Ubunda kitwa Shalom. And he's also called Shalom. Kuko yaje mu gihe cy'amahoro. Because he came in a time of peace. Ise yamufashije kuvana wa intambara. When his father has helped him to put wars aside. We yema mu gihe cy'amahoro. So he was enthroned in a time of peace. Yitwa Shalom. And he's called Shalom. Yari umunyabwenge. And he was very wise. Kandi yari umunyamafuti. Uh, at the same time he was doing also mistakes. Yes ashim. Praise Jesus. The kawumva ibyo yavuze. Please listen to what he said. Ibyo byose narabitekereje mu mutima wanje kugira ngo mbigenzure yuko abakiranutse n'abanyabwenge bari mu maboko y'Imana. Nimirimo yabo ari urukundo cyangwa urwango umuntu ntacyo azi muri ibyo byose biri imbere yabo. Byose kuri bose bibageraho kimwe. Amaherezo y'abakiranutsi n'abakiranirwa n'abakiranirwa namwe ayo umwiza uboneye nuwanduye ayo tamba ibitambo nudatamba kuko umwizamera uko umwizamera ni ku munyabyahameze urahira meze nkutinya kurahira 
iki ni iki bicyo muri byose bikorerwa mu nsi ijuru yuko amaherezo ya byose aram kandi mitima y'abantu yuzuye mwe bibi ndetse mu mitima yabo bakiriho hari mwe bisaze ari ku herezo bazakurikira bapfuye tu babasangeye ufatanya nabazima sasa boss abagifite ibyiringiro kuko imbwa nzima iruti ntaripfuye abazima bazi ko bazapfa ariko abapfuye bo ntacyo bakize kandi ntangororano bakizeye kuko batakibukwa urukundo rwabo urwango rwabo ishyari ryabo byose biba bishize kandi nta mugabane bakizeye mu bikorerwa munsi y'ijuru byose kugeza ibihe zose none ho rero igendere wirira ibyo kurya byawe wishimye kandi wenwere vino yawe numutima unezerewe kuko imana imaze kwemera imirimo yawe imyambara yawe ihore yero kandi mu mutwe wawe nti hakaburema amavuta wishimane numugore wawe ukunda iminsi yose uzamara ukiriho ni imana guhaye munsi y'ijuru yose ni iminsi yawe yimfabusa kuko ibyo ari byo wagabanye muri ubu bugingo kandi no mu miriho yawe ugokera munsi y'ijuru umurimo wawe wose werekejeho amaboko yawe ukorane umwete kuko ikuzima huzaje nta mirimo nta nimigambo uzahabona haba no kumenya cyangwa ubwenge imani dufashe cyane for i consider all this in my heart so that i could declare it all that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hands of god people know neither love nor hatred by anything they see before them all things come alike to all one event happens to the righteous and to the wicked to the good to the clean and to the unclean to him who sacrifices and him who does not sacrifice as is the good so is the sinner he who takes an oath as he who fears an oath there is an evil in all that is done under the sun that one thing happens to all truly the hearts of the sons of men are full of evil madness is their hearts while they live and after that they go to the dead but for him who is joined to all the living there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion for the living know that they will be they will die but the dead know nothing and they have no more reward for the memory of them is forgotten also their love their hatred and their envy have now perished never more will they have a share in anything done under the sun go eat your bread with joy and drink your wine with a merry heart for god has already accepted your works let your garments always be white and let your head lack no oil. Live joyfully with the wife whom you love and all the days of your vain life which has given you under the sun all your days of vanity for that is your portion in life and in the labor which you perform under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your mighty for there is no work or device or the knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going amen salomon rero umunyabwenge wahoze ari umupfapfa ariho aratwigishije salomon who was wise but who was a foolish before what is he telling us ndagira ngo nkubwire ngo salomon yatwigishije aya magambo nyuma y'ubupfapfa bwe i want to tell you that uh, solomon taught us these words after his foolishness it is possible that you are not concerned about this. But it means a lot. Solomon was enthroned in a time of peace. When there was no war. And he was not fighting anything. His father has prepared everything so well. And he had handled all the wars. And he handed good things to him. And he said, he said start from here my son. And uh, abundance of peace can also be When there is peace without wisdom it can be a destruction. 
Amahora mensha tari mubuge nje bwi juru ni kirangaza. Abundance of peace without wisdom from heaven is a destruction. Yanani wo kwishakira ubwenge bwase. And he failed to look for the wisdom of God. Ntabwo yamenye ko se we intambara yazishobojwe no gusenga no kubana ni imana. He didn't know that his father was able to handle wars through prayer and being with God. Nyamara yakiriye ubwami. But the kingdom was handed over to him. Yayichayeho. But he was enthroned. After sitting on the throne, bibi, he did evil. And he did not walk in the ways of his father. And he did not walk in the way of his father. Some things he put them in Ibi order. But other things he mishandled them. You know the numerous wives and concubines but that he had. We, so they turned... Uh, his heart and he prayed their idols but he forsook the, the God of his father and it brought tragedy to him and foolishness. What is he telling us here? After that he gained wisdom. Hallelujah. After all that, maybe you do not do things like what he did. But you have your own things. But what am I saying? Evil days uh, gives you wisdom. Mistakes. Uh, mistakes. We learn that there are sins and mistakes that help us to gain wisdom. The sins and the mistakes of a person who loves God, they gain wisdom from that. It will be useless to look at your sins, at your mistakes, and say it's okay. But what you have learned should be useful to you and should learn from them as a child of God who is born again. Solomon is teaching us. And he shared us wisdom through Proverbs and the Ecclesiastes. Yes, Hashim. And even his songs was singing to his love. But do you know that all that are lessons he drawn from his mistakes? What am I telling you and telling myself? You should not say that it's just a small thing. Or you should not say that it's just a little mistake. Wait and look at the impact of your mistakes to others. That mistake that you are undermining, look at the damage it is making in your work. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Solomon here. He I'm talking about this the same way I did in the first uh, service because I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to do so. You need to learn from your mistakes. You need to learn from your oversight. And you should learn from the sins that you committed. And you should draw a lesson from that. And you should draw a lesson from that that are also useful to others. And this is Solomon. Imagine, it means all those sins God accepted him and is teaching us. He's teaching us. And he said, I sat down and observed. Hallelujah. And he said, I looked, at, I looked at what happens under heaven. And here are the things that I saw. Do you know that the sinner and the righteous will have the same end? The one who pray and the one who does not pray. The one who is right and the one who is not right. The one who fears God and the one who does not fear. All of them will have the same end. All of them will go to the dead. 
All of them are going to die. And here's the issue. All of them are going to die. But here's something else. What is, what is in their heart? Hatred. Love. Envy. All those things that are in their hearts when they are still here on earth. They also go to the dead. They also go. And he was confused. Let's focus on verse 7. From, around, from 6. All their love and their hatred and their envy have now perished. So it means the days that they have been living. The days of living here on earth. Uh, there is well, craziness in them. And, and there is evil in them. The amazing thing, those who are saved and those who are not saved. It's not the fact that we are saved that we don't have wicked yeah, in our hearts. I don't teach say that in the name of Jesus Christ we are holy. We learned about Mr. Flesh. And we know that the carnal nature the, the, the flesh, Urwango, hatred, ishari, envy, uhugome, I, uh, no they dwell even in the person who is saved. No, no, Solomon and Solomon looked at, at all that. And he, he said the pitiful thing, those things that of abandoned people will go Kandi to the day. Anyo, yoku when it happened in your days of living. Verse 7. And he said, after looking at all that, so he is saying, eat your bread and with joy in your yeah, days of yes, ishime. Uh, You need to rejoice. The joy he's telling us is what also Paul testified when he was speaking. <laughs> It is not joy connected to the job that you got. It is not joy linked to a good wife. It is not joy linked to having children. It is not joy because of receiving your kids. But joy because the spirit of God dwells in you. If you are alive, if you have breath, rejoice today. You need to rejoice because that is the day you have been given. It is yours. It is the one you have been given. You are not given in the one in the one in or the one in 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 the the one you've been given is the one of today and you need to rejoice. But to rewind at this it's lack of wisdom according to the Bible. In the Bible, uh, to rewind your thoughts, to go in the past, go there to fetch lessons. Hallelujah! Go there to look for good lessons you learned to help others. Go there to remind yourself how God has been good. But you should not go back there. To be you should not go there because you are sad because of the experience. The Bible says there is no wisdom in that. because you, are, you live today and you've been given today. And he said, eat and drink and rejoice in the Lord. It is your portion. It is your share being given. Beloved friends of the cross, I start telling you your sins, your mistakes, your oversights, and your little mistakes, oversights, and be distracted. They should teach you to have a good conduct. You should not leave uh, and uh, ignoring mistakes. But have a good life. Live well each day. Because today we will give you tomorrow. And tomorrow we will give you after tomorrow. And a day goes by by its own. Yes, I should
Praise Jesus. Atibaho. And he said, please leave. Umutima unezerwe. And may your heart rejoice. Kuko Imana imaze kwemera imirimo yawe. Because God has accepted your work. Bivuga iki? What does it mean? Umuri muri ho nuwo. Uh, that is the work you are focusing on. Ibzuri honi ibzu. And that's what you are busy on. Ndaje mbisoba nureneza wa shome yori mge. I'm going to explain this for those who are jobless. Kukusho wa kubura anjiju kamgu tipasite kujen hakazi. Because you may have finished your studies and saying I don't have a job, but I'm going to tell you have one. Ako wita ko nakazi niko uragafiti. That job that you say that you don't have, you have it. Icho chiba ya wita ko nakazi ngondi honda chamo chiba ya niko kazi ubu ni chusabuka. When you are going through a valley saying you don't have a job, that's what you are required. Who is following you? That wilderness you are going through, that is the job you have. That ocean you are crossing, that is the work you are doing with Jesus. You should not sit and see yourself in an office working. And you are joblessness and say you have a vision. <laughs> No, no, uri kukazi kamwe urarota uri mu kandi. You are on one job but you're dreaming being in another one. Ubukene bwa nomye urota ukaje uvuga utako uziko ndota ibintu by'ibifaranga. In poverty and you say I dream about money. Sinkubujije kurota. I don't prevent you from Ariko ndakubwiza ukuri akazu hawe nicyo kibaya abantu urangiza ibyo cyo kibaya. That is the job you are doing. Haramasoma muri cyo kibaya. There are lessons in that valley. Uh, you should not try to move from that place <laughs> and I know I'm speaking to each one of <laughs> you the one who doesn't have a job has one <laughs> don't, don't you know there's someone who doesn't have a job and who's happy because that's oh, the situation yes. indeed what you are busy on that's <laughs> where you have reached to that is where <laughs> You should not ignore where you are. God is where you are. God is in what you are in. If you are in joy, live with God in your joy. If you are in sadness, live with God in it. You should not try to jump quickly from what Hallelujah. you are. I have a lot to say. Our prayers are always to shift from where we are. You cannot shift unless God wants you to shift. That's how he treats me. And that's how he treats even yourself. He has the key of everything. He has the master key. In your joblessness, in the day of, of sorrow, pray. In the day of sorrow, pray. So that God can give you a revelation. And in the end, he says, on verse 8, and say, let your garment always be white. And this all that strives so that you are righteous. In joy and sadness, strive that uh, you are Garments are always clean. You should not pour your own. You should pour your own. Oil should always be upon you. You should not lose it just because of valleys and the mountains. You may say, who doesn't pray when they are going through trials? But I'm announcing to you, you need to pray a lot even in in a, even in the times of promotion, you need to pray a lot. When God has a lot, you have been the, what you have been praying for so many years, you need to be close to God. Even in the times you are receiving answers, you need to search God even more. Because a day goes away with own thing. Only one day. It, it can delete so many things. Only one thing. Only one day. Only one day. That you have handled in a wrong way. It can take away so many years of your life. Who listens to what I'm saying? I thank God because of you. One day. It can enable you to see it on the city. 
one day ushobora kuguhana ntura kuntebe and it can make you fall down niyo mpamvu rwo Salomo avuga ati that is why Solomon is saying baho leave baho leave ubuzima bwawe bubeho pleinement hamwe n'Imana leave abundantly with God alone umuso uha gaciro kawo hamwe n'Imana and leave value each day together with God nibwo zabashira ku ibyo umuso umwe bigenda bigashira uwundi safely bikagera ya mahoro why you will be confident that things concerning one day will never be agasengesho kane njoro agakubita imana mana urabona umunsi a quick prayer that you pray in the evening wakoze wokabyara we thank you o lord uf turaryanye and then say i'm going to ngawe jo nyine tuzabyinjire and say see you tomorrow we continue oh yeah no umunsi urangizanye n'umutima wawe uwuzi neza umenye ibyo haye imana umenye nibiza gutsigara muri uyu munsi umunsi you should complete each day on a good not knowing the things you're handing over to god icyo nicyo kitwa kubaho umutima wawe uri kumwe n'imana that's what it means to live when your heart is with god nicyo byitwa kubaho uri kumwe n'imana that's what it means to live when you are with god umutima wawe uri kumwe n'imana when your heart is with god yes ashimwe cyane praise jesus indeed hanyuma none Ichenda. Verse 9. Ishimane numugore wawe shiraho numugabo wawe. Live joyfully with your wife you cannot. Ishimane numugore numugabo wawe ukunda iminsi yose uzamarukiriho. Ni Imana yaguhaye munsi y'ijuru yose ni iminsi yawe imfabusa. Whom you love and all days of your vain life in which he has given to you under the sun. Salomo yigishije nabagabo nabagore. Uh, Solomon is teaching wives and husbands. Ngo mugore ufite nuwo The wife you have is the one. Abagabo. Husbands. Ndabadukiri. <laughs> right, now I'm coming to you. Raise well your hand. Roy, no. Uh, she is the one. Ngo mugabo ufite kire, no. The husband you have is the one. Nibo mbonye imbere yanjye. The ones I saw. Muzi cyo bivuga. You know what it means? We shall kundi. You should not look for another one. We never hand. Don't look aside. Rejoice with that one. Uwo. That one. Uwo. That one. Ni mwibaze Salomo ibi bintavuga ubanaze mwa bagore nabagabati. Imagine what he's saying. How that does he involve why? Ubi bya bagabo nabagore bije bite? How that comes is bringing in things concerning. Ko kwibazo bya mbere twirirwa dukemura ni bibazo byuko umugore atagisha ku mugabo umugabo atagisha ku mugore because the first issues we address is when a wife does no longer want his husband and wife akugira inama ngo nuwo and he's giving me a counsel say that is the person we got a hand you should not go in we have a hand you should not look aside we techereza hand you should not think otherwise ushobora no kudatekereza hand ariko nabivuyemo you have also you may have quitted when you don't look aside bagabo amen nuwo she is the one bagore women tuzamure let's raise our hands abatoya cyane cyane muri he those who are younger where are you ntimucike mu bitekerezo i should not be drifted in your thoughts ntimurusezere mu bitekerezo and you should not divorce in your thoughts ijambo ry'Imana ravuze ngo ushime nuwo the word of god is saying rejoice he is the one ibibazo bizanwa no kwibintu abantu batabigira nkuko Imana yabivuze issues come because people don't handle things according to what god say Ijambo ry'Imana se ravuze ngo nuwo kuko ari mwiza. That's the word of God said that he or she is the one because that person is good. Ravuze ngo kuko umugore ari mwiza. Is it because that wife is Ngo kuko umugabo ari mwiza. Or is it because the husband is good? Oh yeah. No. Gusarira kubwiye ngo nuwo. The only says that person is the one. And rejoice. Ishime. Rejoice. Koma mash. Clap your hands. Bakuru. Belav Uyu munsi niba du facing a divorce muri iyi si Today if you are facing divorces in this Na abantu batamenye inyigisho ya Salomo uh, People who didn't know the teaching of Solomon Wishimira kazi ufite uyu munsi You rejoice because of the job you have Wishimira umubare w'abana wahawe And even the number of children you got Wishimira umugabo cyangwa umugore wahawe Even the husband or the wife that you got Wishimira icyo ufite kuko ubwo nicyo ufite You rejoice over what you have because that's what Iryo ni ryo somo icyo ufite nicyo What you have is what you have that is the teaching. Uri huranyura mu rubanza? Are you going through? Wishaka kurusimbuka vu. You should not try to skip. Ubwo Imana yicaye muri urwo rubanza. God is in that court case for example. Uziko mutabyemeye. You are not accepting this. Nzatura muri mwe. 
I'll dwell among you. I will walk through you. I'll be your God. And you'll be my sons and daughters. How come if he dwells in you, if you are going through a court, you, are going, you need to go and talk to God. Even in a job interview, you should say, oh Lord, let's go together. If you don't get that job, and say, I'm convinced that it was not a will of God. Because God has the master key. If he wants you to get that tent, he to get you uh, to go to that school. You, you go to that school. You can even add other things. He has the key of things to come. But Solomon said, Leave. Leave together with your heart. And your heart should be involved. You should be in that. They should not see your carcass when your heart is outside. When you are in, into things. But your heart is not involved. How will you receive a blessing when the blessing is not Can I tell you the secret of it? We are also going to talk about it. Do you know that the job that you do when your heart is not involved? And they can tell you a person came at uh, 10 and they say, when did you do But a job you are in and together with your heart. You know the information. Concerning that. And even God rejoices to tell you information of what you know. Because He can see your heart. heart. Because your heart is involved. Your heart is involved. But if you are involved into things when they see your carcass, you are seeing the housing only. But when your heart is in a different place, Physically, you are in Kigali, but your heart is in, 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 in a market that is happening there, but you are here. Is God going to speak to the one who is here or out there? Praise Jesus. Verse 10. And uh, that is the quote. When we are focusing on a particular verse, you need to know the background. Actually, verse 10 is the conclusion of the things that are said earlier. Umurima wawe wose warekeje ho amaboko, uwukora ni umwete, umwete gal umutima. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your mighty or zeal, which means your heart. Because if you know that in the end you are going to die, if you know that in the end you are going to die, if you know that the days you are given are, are to live in wisdom, you will change your daily conduct. The reason why we live in a wrong way we're taking things lightly. Because the vision It's because people are lacking vision as we were taught by evangelist Norman. And where there is no vision, people are A person who is not focused on where he's heading to. A person who doesn't know that he'll be held accountable by God. A person who lives on this earth as if life is today. And Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said that person is pitiful. If your hope is only confined on this world, you are more pitiful than others. My friend, I and you, we are going to die. You and I, we are going to die. And where we are heading to, we build it today. We prepare that today. We prepare that today. There is a, a lady, she was asked that if in heaven you are going to get house we built when you are still here on earth, what about your house? 
Kwewe ngumubwiza ukuri. And she said to be honest. Uh, mine is made of mine is made of mine. Yewe nguyo nubatse ni byondo. The one I built is made of mine. Agomba yari umunyabwenge. But she she is why? Inzu tuzabamo tuzubaka turaha. The house we we'll live in we build it when we are still alive. kuba uhubaka uraha none. We go to live you build it today. Yes ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Bakundwa yes ashimwe. We loved Muzima mvu twitwa Omega Ministries. Do you know the reason why we are called Omega Ministries? Tuvuga iherezo. It's because we talk about the end. Twigisha abantu iherezo. We teach people about the end. Umuntu uzahana katwumva. A person who comes here and listens to us. No yemeje gutunganya iherezo ryiza. It is the one who is committed to have a plan. Twigisha abantu ngo uzajya he. We teach people where are you heading to? Kubera ko turebe iherezo. Now because you are focused on the end. Imikino yararangiye. Jokes are over. Umva nta mikino. No entertainment. There's no entertainment. Ibintu ngo muzabona muri kuri isi. The things are going to receive you here on earth. Uyo mugabo Salomo aravuga ati muzi ko ari inkundo mwakunze inzangano ishari ibyo watinzemo eh ngo bizasigara. And Solomon say the love the hatred and every experience will be left behind. Duharanira kuzarangiza neza. And we strive to have a good end. Ndaharanira kurangiza neza. I strive to have a good end. Ndarwana ngo nzarangize neza. I fight to have a good end. Nkura nibimvu nariko ndashaka kurangiza neza. Even though I encounter things that are about to happen. Ndasa ko mukwiriye gushaka iherezo ryiza. I come and teach you that you ha- should strive to have a good end. Umuntu warangije kugira vision y'iherezo ryiza. A person who already has the vision ashobora kubaza nabaho imyaka 120 that person can even lead for 120 ariko nibure yarangije kumenya ngo ndaharanira iherezo ryiza but already that person knows that he is striving for a good end uziko ibyo bivuga ko utazari cyo munyengo uri kwisi that doesn't mean that you have just a right here on yes hari minezo iri mani zago of course there is joy that you will never to experience and happiness ariko mujye mwirinda abantu bavuga ngo ariko ditugomba kubaho but you should be careful about those who say that we need to leave barakatubeho and say let's just leave Uturye life and and enjoy life <laughs> how do you enjoy life have you ever seen people who have thirst for life kandi ngo ngo hari inzira igaragara ko ari nziza mu maso y'umuntu and there is a path that appears to be good in the sight of a person ariko la fin c'est la voie de la mort but in the end it is Ngo mwiherezo ni nzira y'irimbukiro. But in the end it leads to destruction. Abanyarwanda bakakubwira nshuti yo musarabangura ryo uri menge. And, and Randan says be careful. Menge. Be careful. <laughs> menge mu cyogereza. You need to be careful and diligent. <laughs> Ngura ryo uri menge. And they say be diligent. Uzi cyo bivuga. Do you know what does it mean? Gira umwete rero. Have the zeal. Kukuvumenye. Because from the time you are aware of this. Umusi wawe utsindagire neza. Hallelujah. Umusi wawe ube mo neza. You need to really to be involved in it. Ibyago nibiza. If tragedy comes. Ubireba ni mbaraga z'ijuru. You need to look at them with power from heaven. Ibyiza nibiza. Good things come. Uvuga ute mwami ndagusaba nibitubigenda neza. And she says, "Oh Lord, may we walk together." Amasezerano meza naza. If good promises are come. Ute mwami Yesu tuzayabane. Jesus may you be with me. Ukonokugiriye kwa ryiza. That's what it means to have a good Naho mundi nshuti yanje. Otherwise my friend. Nutungurwa nubukire. If you are surprised by riches. Vuguti ubukire. Say wealth. Vuguti cash. Say cash. Cash. Oya ntabwo mvuga ibintu by'umugisha wo mu mwuka. I'm not talking about spiritual blessing. Ndavuga cash. But I'm talking about cash. Uzazurare mu masengesho iminsi 3. Come and spend 3 uh, days here in prayer. Koko mu babarutera gusenga. Ah uh, because sadness prompts people to pray. Ariko cash ntitera gusenga. But when you receive money people are not driven to pray. Niyo mpamvu imana itayabaho. That is why God has not given you money. Baranyitse. <laughs> eh. And they are going to kill. Buri imana iradukunda. God loves us. Benda imana iragukunda. Brethren God loves you. Iragukunda ikavuga iti mwana wanje bigenda na muboro ntayo nguha. God says let's slow down I'm not going to give you money. Yeah yeah yeah. Ibaha fiance nkababura. Because I when I give them fiances they go away. Ubumunsi yabaha amafaranga nibwo nzababona. The day you're going to receive money am I going to see you? Kandi nanye ndabashaka. And I'm also personally looking for you. Let's be diligent. God is wiser than us. He cannot give you 
to such things. Yes, Praise Jesus. Because he loves you. He doesn't just throw things at you. But he first prepares the heart and prepares the mind and prepares the things that are attached to you. And he looks left and right. Uh, what are the things that are going to take this person away from me? Uh, because we're going to rest. What are the things that I need to take away? And he does the work because he loves you more than what he gives. And his plan is not just to make you rich here on earth or to have a prominent name here on earth. I will bless you abundantly. Oh, hallelujah. You are a person worthy of his investment. And now go to have those he can invest in. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. And here's the question I'm going to ask you. Who has a job? Here? Please raise your hand. The second question. Who? <laughs> Who are, who are those who like their job? Don't raise your hand. Who are those who like their jobs? Don't raise your hand. And even the third question, you don't have to answer. Who are those who work just because they have no other ways? They go there, but don't laugh because people may identify you. Because we have no alternative. This person who is raising you. And I said, keep it to yourself. Who are those who are happy because of their rewards? Uh, think about it. And Solomon helped us to think. Brethren, do you know that God is in our thoughts? God comes in our thoughts and we think together. Now, this, the same things I asked you and asked myself, we need to because we have now, the topic we have of this month uh, to, to work seriously on whatever we do, we cannot accomplish it if we don't enjoy what you are doing or if you are not happy with what you are doing. Paul said in Corinthians chapter 12, verse 17, and this is not, not to be aligned with what Paul told the Corinthians in whatever you do, whatever you, if you eat or drink, whatever you do, you need to glorify God. How can your job glorify God if you just go there because you have no alternative? If the works of your hand, how can they give glory to God if you do them because you have no other option? If you are not happy because of the wage that you receive, how would that job that you do glorify God? And the last question, my friend, if God desires that what you do glorifies him, who is lying to the other? Who is deceiving the other? And who is deceiving the other? Another question. Promotions are even not how are you going to get a promotion? How will God promote you if the heart we talked about is not involved? You are at home, you don't have a job and you are not happy about that. You are jobless and you are not happy about that. You go to work, you are not happy about your job. You are not happy because of the salary that you receive? How would God handle you? How would God handle you? 
kwa ya mwijuru yaravuze ngo icyo ushize kwa maboko gikora no mwete kuko nicyo nguhaye nicyo ngicyo nta kindi kandi ufite igihe cyo kugira ngo bikore kuko ntuzi gihe uzavira muri isi icyo koze cyose gishyira wo mutima kuko ahujya imirimo n'imigambi nubwenge bizaba byarangiye because in heaven god expects you to work zealously on whatever you put your hands on because the time is limited mubonye impamvu Imani itaduha umugisha. Have you seen the reason why God does not give us a Mubonye ukuntu tubura umugisha mu byo dukora. And how we lack a blessing in what we do. Nuko icyo ukoze nta muti murimo. It's because what you do your heart is not involved. Ntugikunda. You don't like it. Kubwi byo nta mwete. And because of that there is no zeal. Nica yenda zenguruka nsanga hari ibintu bibiri bitera umwete abantu mu kazi. I realize that there are two things that drive people to have the zeal in their work. Icyambere. The first one is uh, the wages or the reward that you get. It's because you are going to be rewarded. Nukuruka ba no muntu nizere afite umwete arazinduka aragira ati ataro kubera ko akunda boss na kazi. Eh eh kukwezi bazamuhemba. But you see a person is serious not because they love what they do but just because they are going to get a salary at the end of the month. Ikindi gishaka kugutera umwete. Something else that can drive you to be serious. Nurukundo ufite icyo kintu. Is the love you have for that. Umuti murimo. The heart that is involved that is in it. You like it? Mubahemba mbabwira bari bo. For those who are rewarded. Bari abantu imana yishimira mu kazi. Those people that God is pleased with in the job. Naba bafite umutima mu byo bakora. Are those who do what they do wholeheartedly. Papa Musoni yatwigishije neza. Uh, Elder Musson taught us so well. Papa Olivia and even uh, Pastor Olivier. These are the two things that they told us. Works we are talking about is not just concerning church, but even everywhere. The second thing. Uh, the work that you are doing today. The one who rewards you is not the boss. Oh yeah. No. You don't know the one you are serving. And Paul wrote to the Colossians in chapter 3. That whatever you do. It should, you should do it wholeheartedly. As the one serving the Lord Jesus. The reason why there is no zeal. You don't know that even though you are cleaning a person's house. You know to do it for Jesus. If you are telling you should do it. If you are working for others, work for them as if you are working for Jesus. It's not the issue of the, what you do. Or it's goodness or badness. But uh, it's a problem of vision. You are short-sighted. You should know the one you are serving. You need to get a revelation that you are serving Jesus. Whenever we don't know that the one who looks at us and who's going to reward us is the Lord. Now, when you know that you work for the kingdom, and when you know that you're going to reward it by the When you know that the time you're going to shift from that job is going to be governed by heaven. If heaven has not yet made you shift, you are not yes. going to shift. When you are not yet aware of that, are you, 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 you struggle. And uh, you start um, you, you, you start to, to run after your bosses. You work unto people. And the father in heaven is looking at you and saying you are mishandling your job. And if they don't catch you, because you, you, you work to the people, you want to please people, and actually they don't have rewards, they don't have a, a, a reward, or an you. and what they can give you is what I can instruct them to give to you, and what is going to give to you is an instruction from God. If you are a child of God, because others, uh, they can give uh, appreciation. They can give certain things. So that they are, but you, as a child of God, you, as a Christian, you need to work in a Christian way and live in a Christian way and conduct yourself in a Christian way. And you are going to be rewarded by the one who can do it. And he does it. Yes, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus.
We are going to wind up reading in Deuteronomy. You should not work unto people out there. And you need to rejoice because of the job that you have. And rejoice because of what you do. Do you know, do you know that when Joseph was in a pit, actually he was working? That is the, the job he had been given. Because God was with him. At Potiphar's house, God was with him. In prison, God was with him. As Christians, we, when we are in trouble or in hardship, but God is there 100%. You need to have that vision. That is the job he has been given. If you are jobless, he is aware and he is with you. If you are sick, he is aware and he is with you. You are hopeless, he knows and he's with you. You are hopeless, the reason why when you get a job and they told us something Pimas. bad, we say, we, we, if we apply somewhere else, we go Pimarer. Now try. Now try and God will show you if he doesn't want you not to get another job. Do you know that at my time when I was still young, uh, housemates who used to be people actually who had not even gone to primary school. But nowadays the housemates are those who have completed high school. You know, you get the person speaking to you in the, in the, in the they make a they, when they make the shopping list, they speak good French. Do you know what it means? Is it because uh, that, that job is petty? But I like the person who does and the job we we is And that's what also the Bible it says. Chemere. What you have, you need to accept it. What else do you want? What, what do you want? Take the first things that come. Thank you, my friend. Hallelujah. Thank you. Brethren, I have a revelation about this. Do what is coming. And sometimes God can test you to see your heart. And to see your heart. And you say nowadays it's not easy to get a job. Actually, the government is encouraging us to come to our and that is true. But in the meantime, before you create your own jobs, humble yourself before your boss and accept. And when you reach there, the <laughs> word of God says, servants, obey your masters. You need to add also to obey your, your, your you should not work boasting about your academic qualifications. We don't need that. The boss can say this. That's not what you do. But if you have come to work, do it. Kora. Work. You should not waste your time talking about how they despise you you. when you are being accepted out, out, out there. I think there's a person who Bili about that. that is practical and it is real. And they say outside we are accepted. But in the office there are those who are despised. You did not come to the office to look for honor but you have come to the office. In that house, you do not come so that you are appreciated. You have come to work and you need to work. And whatever you put your hands on, you should have the zeal. Deuteronomy. I want to wind up uh, reading in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy and I'm going to link uh, Deuteronomy with, with uh, Luke uh, chapter 16, though we are not going to read it. The bad steward that I talked about uh, two weeks ago, uh, Jesus appreciated that person for two things. Uh, to think quickly and to draw solutions quickly concerning the no kingdom and also to prepare the way of where he will be in the 
Let me come back to this again. And preparing for where you'll be in the future. You are saved. But you need to prepare your future. Jesus said in the end the, the things that you are doing that job that you are doing the tests I have put you before is to see how you are conducting yourself because the one who is righteous in a few things can also be righteous in, in, in many yes the one who is righteous serving another. The one who is a faithful servant a serving another. God is observing when you are serving others. God is observing you when you are serving others. And God can see how you respect their own things. Because the one who is righteous or faithful he will also receive his own things. But if you are unrighteous in the treasures of this world, who entrust with you eternal treasures? There is uh, the God is focusing on you. To see you that are if you are a student, you should do it well. You need to study wholeheartedly. You should not look uh, uh, for great Even ourselves, whatever we do, we should do it wholeheartedly. So that God, when he looks at us, he can give us a revelation. And the Deuteronomy tells us where the blessing comes from that we are looking for. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which are commanded to you today that the Lord of God will set you above all nations of the earth. I was speaking to Israel. 8 verse 8. The Lord will command a blessing on you in your storehouse and the all to which you set your hand and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Verse 11 and 12. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body and in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground and in the land of which the Lord saw to your, forth, your fathers to give you. Twelve, the Lord will open you his good treasure and the heavens to give you the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand and you shall learn to the, to the many nations but you shall not learn from them. You and I, we want to make progress. We want a blessing in our hands. We need to go back to verse 1, 2, and 8. If you obey my Lord, if you love God, you'll be diligent based on what is said. If you involve a heart of obedience, that itself, that itself, it is a, a key that opens what no is It is a key. No it is a key. It is a key. Oh, 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 
And he will tell David if my if your children will walk uh, after your own ways. Amategeko y'Imana. The laws of God. Tuyashira ku ruhande. We put them aside. And you are looking for a blessing. We are going into prayers. And we cry in the Bible. And we are going into but we do other things that kind of burden us. But what, what is easy is to say, Oh Lord, I'm not able to do this. Come. I want to wind up. You. If God tells you, I hate this. If the Holy Spirit comes and say, I don't like this. I plead you for your safety. Do it according to what God has said. That itself brings school fees. It brings a fiance. Here I am. It brings a fiance. It brings a fiance. A lady who is diligent to follow the laws of God. And, and a young man who is looking for a wife and who is obeying the Lord. There's a God who is ready to pray. You want a better job. I don't skip the laws of God. Work according to the laws of God and other prayers. But you should not pray when you know that you are disobedient. Because God does not hear a prayer of a disobedient person. You'll get a promotion if it is yours. But God if you desires that you are still there. Be patient and learn what God wants to do. That is also part of it. And, and stand, stand, firm. stand firm so that he can teach you. May Jesus bless you. May Jesus Christ bless all of us The good deeds. And let us have a good end. Please, let's not talk about the good end. And for those who want a good end, they also give because they align themselves. Please stand up so that you can pray to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Mami Mani Jiraneza. Jambo Jubujingo, Jambo Rihembura, Jambo Rihumuskwa, Ubgenje, Jambo Rijere Kanenzira, Jambo Rikizib Zaha, Jambo Rikiza Kamere, Jambo Rikiza Mafuti. Ijambo ridutera guca bugufi tugasaba imbabazi tugahinduka tugahindukira ijambo ritera imbuto itabora ijambo ritura muri twe rikatubera itara umunsi kuwundi iryo niryo duhaye mana ndagushimira kubwa buri muntu wese nange ntisize urakoze kuduhugura ko aho buri wese ari uyu munsi na habe no mutima we na habe nibirenge bye namaguru ye nubwenge bwe no mutima we Na habe neza umubwire ibihanda bihaba umubwire abazimu bahaba umubwire abadaimoni bahaba umubwire ubwenge buriyo umubwire ukuntu cyo gihugu mwagifata très bien Yesu umuhishurire kuko umutima wuhari kuko umutima utaguruka kuko umutima utagucika ahabe neza umubwire ariko kandi no umubwira mukorane Mwami Imana ishobora byose urashaka guha umugisha buri wese ushaka kugirira neza buri wese ariko turagucika mana tubabarire kujya mu byo utadutumye tubabarire kujya mu mirimo y'uruvange ngo wadutumye utadutumye tubabarire ku mwami kumva ko kuba busy 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 ari byo biduha mwami feva yawe no mwami ubana nufite umutima umenetse ufite umutima ushenja gwe ntuzamwirengagiza uhindira umushitsi imbere yawe mana ni ushaka Mwami uti nyibyo wavuze akabihindura umushitsa akajya kubishyira mu bikorwa ni ushaka Mana ntabwo ibitambo byacu bikeneye ntabwo ibiguzi byinshi ari byukeneye ariko mbere na mbere umutima uhindutse umutima ushaka guhindura umutima ushaka guhindukira shoboza utakamba wese mwami uwibonye hano hamwe na handi mwami utubabarire mwami twe kukwima imitima yacu mwami imitima ni ushaka Wanze mwami Eliyabu Shama Abinadabu uravuga ngo ya uwiteka yabagaye uwiteka yabagaye koko ngo washaka gumutimu washaka gumutimu 
bona imitima ukabyara we bona imitima yacu mwami ndakwinginga bona imitima yacu mbonera umutima wanje mana umutima wanje ukacire ufate ufate ufatishe ni torero ryose ndakwerekana nabatu kurikiye mwami dukize kujabuka mu byo duhamagarira dukize kwimuka utatwimuye dukize mwami kuranga guza utaduhaye kuranga guza dukize gukora byinshi tugira ngo nibyo biza no mugisha dukize gukubita hirya no hino tugira ngo nibyo urimo duhe kuguma hamwe twumvishwe ryawe mwami washimye mari uherutse kubitubwira yari yahise mu mugabane mwiza yesu nta muntu utagira urugo rwiza yumvira amategeko yawe nta muntu utarengera yumvira amategeko tegeko yawe nta muntu utaburanira ku kazi yibereye mu mategeko yawe kuko mwamu ukoze kuri bene uwo abagukozeho ukoze kuri bene uwo abagukozeho niyo mpamvu haguru gukaburana utubona uyu munsi twese utuburanire ariko dukebure utugarure utwicaze dutuze tunyurwe nibyo duhaye dukorera ibyo duhaye tubishyire mu mutima kuko aho tujya mwame nta migambi ibyo dukora tura bikorwa icyubahiro ni kuzo bibi byawe mu mutima wa buri wese amen 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 mfite itangazo ryihuta